welcome back to GHR TV. This Monday, the 30th of January, GHRD traveled to Geneva in order to attend the UPR working group session on the country of Pakistan. If you missed it, we went live on our GHR TV Instagram and Twitter. So if you're interested in not missing future human rights news, join us on Twitter and Instagram. For all of you who might not know what a UPR is or have not pre been present at one, country delegations only get 55 seconds to either compliment or criticize the country, this time Pakistan. The major takeaways that we got as JHRD was that the country delegations present were criticizing forced conversions, abductions, discrimination against women and girls, discrimination and or persecution of religious minorities, lack in protection of journalists and media professionals. The session started with the Pakistan representatives explaining their progress made in the past years regarding human rights and minority rights. The representatives present promised to protect the rights and freedoms of minorities and referred to the general election being held this year. The representatives went on by stating to keep committed to protection of their citizens, freedom of movement, protection of human dignity and privacy. Pakistan described how they believe they have addressed national injustice in the past years, they have addressed women's rights, as I said, discrimination of women and girls were one of the major topics of that day. There were many different aspects discussed on the 30th of January, including but not limited to violence against women and girls, especially domestic violence, harassment at the working place, the need to strengthen education system, even after the primary education, and the absolute necessity to keep girls and women inside the schools. We've all seen the recent floods in Pakistan, which have caused country delegates such as Sri Lanka, for example, to underline the importance of instant, efficient climate action, sustainable development and the implementation of regulations to combat climate change in the country. One of the countries which stood out in the criticism towards Pakistan was India. They pointed at minorities in Sindh and Balochistan suffering, suffering abductions, torture and forced disappearances, targeted human rights activists and journalists. India further accused the state of Pakistan of turning a blind eye towards forced conversions in Sindh and Balochistan, arguably making one of the strongest statements of the day. If you're interested, join us on GHR TV.